West Lynn, Oregon. West Lynn is a city in Clackamas County, Oregon, United States. Now a southern suburb within the Portland metropolitan area, West Lynn has a history of early development, prompted by the opportunity to harvest energy from nearby Willamette Falls. It was named after U.S. Senator Louis F. Lynn of St. Genevieve, Missouri, who had advocated the American occupation of Oregon as a counterclaim to the British. As of the 2010 census, the city had a population of 25,109. Prior to settlement by Oregon pioneers, the area which became known as West Lynn was the home of ancestors of some of the present-day Confederated tribes off the Grand Bron community of Oregon. Major Robert Moore was an early settler arriving in 1839, before the Champoag meetings, having been the senior member of the first attempt to create an American state in Oregon, the Peoria Party. Sometime after journeying around the Willamette Valley and Columbia Basin, Moore bought title to a prox dot on the west side of Willamette Falls, across the Willamette River from Oregon City, from a local Native American chief, on which he platted a town he called Robin's Nest in early 1843. He also filed a provisional claim with the then government of the Oregon country, not knowing if his transaction would be honored by the eventual governing laws. The Oregon Territorial Legislature voted to rename it Lynn City on December 22, 1845 as a memorial to Senator Louis F. Lynn after whom Lynn County is also named. Lynn was a neighbor and family friend of the Moors from their time as settlers in the early Missouri Territory. For many years Lynn City was a political and commercial rival to the adjacent town of Oregon City, but it suffered a series of natural and man-made setbacks. A major fire in the Great Flood of 1862 put a halt to the pioneer settlement in 1861 dispersing many of the surviving family members throughout the Pacific Northwest. Westland was incorporated in 1913 and merged with the adjacent town of Willamette in 1916, which had incorporated five years earlier. When the city of Westland incorporated in 1913, it encompassed West Oregon City, Bolton, Sunset, and Willamette Heights. The incorporation allowed the settlements to obtain needed services, utilities, and improvements without annexing to Oregon City. After considerable debate on a name, the city founders decided to honor the pioneer town that Moore had established. The city's population historically grew steadily, but in recent years has leveled off. The 1860 census listed 225 residents. By 1920, the number had grown to 1,628. The 1960 census set the population at 2,923, and by 1970, West Lynn had grown to more than 7,000. The city's population has continued to grow each year. Currently, the city's population is 25,250. In 2011, the city of West Lynn was the top-ranked Oregon city on the CNN-slash-Money magazine Best Places to Live 2011 list. Citing breathtaking views of the Cascades and relatively low local taxes, the number 69 listing includes a photo of Central Village, and also mentions the Musician the Park Concert Series, the historic Willamette area, the Farmer's Market, and the Street Dance. The city of Sherwood is the only other Oregon city to make a 2011 listing, coming in at number 100. In 2009, the city of Westland was included on the best places to live 2009 list. Oregonians moved to the hilltop homes here for a scenic view of the Cascades and relatively low local taxes. With Portland just 25 minutes away, most residents commute into the city during the week. Weekends are spent enjoying waterfront recreation. Westland sits at the junction of two rivers. On summer evenings, residents enjoy picnic dinners over concerts in the park. Locals also flock to a revitalized downtown area. Historic Willamette, which offers a farmer's market and, occasionally, dancing in the street. In 2012, the city of Westland was named Tree City USA Community by the Arbor Day Foundation for its commitment to urban forestry. It is the 19th year Westland has earned this national honor from the Arbor Day Foundation, the nation's largest nonprofit organization dedicated to planting trees. We all benefit when communities like West Lynn place a high priority on planting and caring for trees, one of our nation's most beautiful resources, said John Rosenau, chief executive and founder of the Arbor Day Foundation. Trees shade our homes and add beauty to our neighborhoods, and they also provide many environmental, economic and social benefits. We applaud West Lynn's elected officials, volunteers and citizens for providing vital care for its urban forest. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which, is land and is water. The city is located between the Willamette and Tualatin rivers, it includes the former town sites slash developments of Willamette, Bolton, Multnomah City, Sunset City, 
and West Oregon City. Willamette was incorporated in 1908, the city of Westland was incorporated in 1913, and the two towns merged in 1916. Later annexations brought in the Cedar Oak, Merrillhurst, and Hidden Springs neighborhoods. Infill created the Tanner Basin and Tanler neighborhoods. The Nature Conservancy maintains the Camassian Natural Area in central Westland as one of its. The area is located on a rocky plateau exposed by the Brett's floods and now named after the camas which bloom there in spring. It hosts about 300 other species, including the white rock larkspur, a species located in only a half dozen other places in the world. It supports Oregon white oak madrona woodlands, a stand of quaking aspen, wet meadows, ponds, and vernal pools. The Mary S. Young State Recreation Area, located between Oregon Route 43 and the Willamette River, featuring a large off-leash dog area, soccer fields and 5 to 8 miles worth of trails is located in West Lynn. West Lynn is located in the area where the Willamette meteorite was placed by the Missoula flood. Extremes range from, recorded in 1950, to, recorded in 1956 and 1981. The median income for a household in the city was $72,010, and the median income for a family was $83,252. These figures have risen to $94,844 and $108,821 respectively as of a 2007 estimate. Males had a median income of $61,458 versus $38,733 for females. The per capita income for the city was $34,671, among the state's top five. About 2.9% of families and 3.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 3.6% of those under age 18 and 4.2% of those age 65 or over. As of the census of 2010, there were 25,109 people, 9,523 households, and 7,081 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 10,035 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 90.7% white, 0.7% African American, 0.3% Native American, 4.0% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander. 1.0% from other races, and 3.1% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 4.0% of the population. There were 9,523 households of which 37.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 61.8% were married couples living together, 9.0% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.6% had a male householder with no wife present and 25.6% were non-families. 20.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 6.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.62 and the average family size was 3.04. The median age in the city was 41.5 years. 26.3% of residents were under the age of 18, 5.9% were between the ages of 18 and 24. 23.3% were from 25 to 44, 33.4% were from 45 to 64, and 11.1% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48.7% male and 51.3% female. Public schools in West Lynn, including West Lynn High School, are part of the West Lynn Wilsonville School District. It is also home to Columbia Academy, a private school licensed by Applied Scholastics. The city operates a public library that is part of the Library Information Network of Clackamas County. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.